Yeah. What's up, IWSTM faculty? It's your crew, Jake, Eddie, and Bryn. Here we work with the Kern team, and we're going to give you a top 10 best advising tips and tricks on how to advise your Kern students. So, let's begin. Oh, hi. Number 10 is all Curtin students meet in their cohort meetings from 12.20 to 1.15 p.m. on Monday, Wednesday, Fridays. Year ones are on Fridays, year twos are on Wednesdays, year threes are on Mondays. So try to avoid scheduling any classes that might meet during that 12.20 to 1.15 class period for their cohort. Current students have an internship. They can complete up to six credit hours for this. It's required for their degree. They can do it in the fall or spring, but summer is preferred. Dude, number eight. If you have a current student who is also a Wesleyan kid, they are eligible for the Wesleyan Loan Grant once they hit 60 credit hours. What does that do for them? They get an extra $4,000 from that 60 to 90 credit hours of Wesleyan money. It can also, on top of that, get an extra $60,000 once they hit 90 credits to 124 credits. But on top of that, they can also do or get $60 per credit hour, their last 64 credits from the Wesleyan Church. So one of the things in the advising process is to make sure they have connected with their district ministerial development board back at their district level. And then that way they can begin that process of becoming ordained and that will help them get the Wesleyan Loan Grant money. That's a lot of cash, dude. Uh, yeah, this is so weird. Anyway, number seven, registering and petitioning for classes. Current students are often on an advanced accelerated track. They have to be extra careful to make sure they register on time. And that might even mean they have to register for upper level classes when they're still sophomores at this point of the program. So they might have to petition for some other classes that maybe they wouldn't have to take until their junior, senior year. Oh, hey, so number six. Some classes in the undergraduate degrees here in STM overlap and contribute to advanced standing for current students in their master's program. If your student is a Christian ministries major, they're all set. But if they're in youth ministries or community development, make sure that they have that pastoral ministries second major so that they can enter the master's degree with advanced standing. Number five, brave heart swords are required. Not really. Current students have to apply to the major a lot sooner than regular students. And therefore, they need to make sure they are taking and prioritizing those classes in which they can apply for their major in their first year. So they can apply for their major either in the spring of their first year or the fall of their second year. Number four, practicums. So as you well know, there are about seven classes that students need to take for their practicums during their college career. What's ideal that students don't overlap these practicum classes together in a single semester. We want to make sure those are spread out over the course of the entire year. Number three, college level examination program testing is super helpful for current students to stay not only on track, but ahead. They can clap classes like advanced writing, math, sociology, etc. So make sure to consider those options and not schedule them until you've clarified whether your student is going to take them or collect them. Class, clap, clap, sup, class, settle down. Hey, tell you what, professors are just unruly in the classroom. Number two, current students, they really need to be taking May classes and or summer classes in order to not just get ahead, but stay on track. Can you imagine taking 124 credits? in three years. Therefore, they have to make the most of their May terms and their summers. Oh, number one, accelerated pace. Curtin students have to get 124 credits in three years. Make sure they do a minimum of 16 to 17 credit hours per semester just to make sure it all gets squeezed in on time. If you ever have a questions, you can just look at some of the three year plans we have for uh, the eight eligible current majors. It'll help give you all the answers you need. Ah.